Thank you. I was hoping you'd find me out here. You were aware of our presence? In a sense. In Athena's sanctuary, we could feel the passage of time, but not as you do. Others who have come, we see only as passing shadows. But you are clear to us. As you approached, I could see fully again. I'm glad you came when you did. Not for my own sake, you understand, but for the child's. What child? Demetria, a young girl. She has a terrible fever. Eleni was watching over her while I went to find herbs. Cassia, do you know what's happened in the temple? Not since I left to tend to Demetria. I was serving as the High Priestess Medusa's personal healer. So I have seen firsthand the changes that have occurred in the temple since Faden arrived. Changes to our laws, our customs, and to Medusa herself. What happened to Medusa? Medusa was always a bit vain. Athena, forgive me for saying so. It is her great weakness. Faden played to that vanity. He feeds her constant flattery. She was once serious and concerned about her station and the people. But more and more, she has ceded her authority to Faden while she spends her days in idle amusement. What were the changes to the law? Before, we had a system of laws that were established so that everyone would know them. Faden gave more powers to the judges, allowing them to decide cases as they personally saw fit. Of course, Faden often sits as judge himself. How did Faden influence your customs? The temple and the village were once closely joined. The priest would often come to the Ring of Virtues and speak with the people directly. They would even bring the fleece there and use it to heal the suffering. Faden stopped all that. Ordinary people are no longer allowed in the temple. And the fleece is not allowed out. Go, Cassia. Return to the village where it's safe. I will. I just pray I'm not too late to save Demetria. I don't understand why Athena would do this to her own people. Almost seems cruel. Perhaps Athena believed everyone was culpable to some degree for the theft of the fleece. Surely there were innocent.
Their child. How does that feel? Better. It's not as hot anymore. You've done it, Cassia. Thank you. Thank the herbs, not me. Or this man and his friends, or yourself for that matter, for pointing them to me. Without you all, I'd still be in the swamps. Few deeds are done alone. We all played a part. You both are humble and strong with Athena. I'm afraid I still have much to learn. Worry not, Eleni. No matter who you are, life will freely provide you many lessons in humility. That's better. Much obliged, sir. I'm Marinos. I am Jason. You should head back to the village now. It's safe there. But look at the state of my meatworks! No. I must salvage what I can. Does Dionysilio still live? Be hard to replace his spice trade. Who is Dionysilios? He's an old temple guard. Retired now. One of my biggest customers. He provided the spices I need. Cinnamon, clove, nutmeg. Without him, it just won't be the same. If you find Dionysilios, let him know I'll come speak with him soon. Surely none of your meat could have survived. Alas, it's long gone, except for his skin, which petrified along with me. The sooner I can assess what's needed, the sooner I'll be up and running. Be safe, Marinos. Head for the village as soon as you can. Magistrate's daughter! Protect her! Oh! <laughs> 
I thank you, stranger. You have saved this shrine. I was more concerned with your safety. Our duty is to live by the virtues. What happens to us after that is Athena's charge. The years have not been kind to this shrine. I have much work to do to restore it. Iona, the shrine can wait. Go see your father. He is worried about you and anxious to see his daughter home. You are right. Discipline to my father honors Athena as well. I will go to him. Go straight home, Iona. Stop for nothing. I suppose Athena's intervention did save people. These Ionians would have put this whole island to the sword. I wonder if the gray-eyed goddess felt too close to the people here to serve as an unbiased judge. I have heard of what you've already done here. Athena has surely chosen you to bring justice to Kithra. I have tried to lead a disciplined life. But if this can happen, what is the point of discipline? Tragedies can test the strongest faith. My father, all of us, we failed. If we were more courageous, perhaps we could have driven off the invaders. If more wise, we could have seen them coming. If more disciplined, we would not have been so easily surprised. Sometimes, it seems the virtues are at cross-purposes with each other. How do we choose between them? Times when the best course calls for wisdom. At other times, courage is required. You must learn to recognize the situation and act in a way that best serves your current purpose. You are wise indeed, Jason. Athena chose well. I will think on what you've said. May Athena bless you always.